Hi, in this video we're going to look at the latest post on Spicer Blog, which is a simple, stylish jQuery featured slideshow for Blogger. So this is a featured post slider or image carousel or the number of names people give to them. And it can be used just to display some images that you have or it can be used to, as links to your featured posts or posts that you want to have featured as you see on many of the blogs. Okay, so the reason we wanted to cover this one in particular is you can simply and quickly change the size and dimensions of the actual slider um, to suit either your blog or where you want to position it on your blog or the images you want to display. So I have a test blog set up um, where I show you a demo, which is here, and right here you can see the slider in action. So this has an auto scroll, so it'll scroll automatically through the different slides, and it also has links here that you can manually, manually slide through the slides also. So adding it to your blog is actually quite simple and I have the steps here and I'm not really going to follow the steps too in depth because I think you're all used to them at this stage. Um, but what we do want to look at is if you were changing your width when you add the CSS which goes above this tag you will see here height 250 pixels and width 250 or 500 pixels. And so basically all you do is when you're adding this section to code to your template you change your height and change change your height, change your width to the dimensions that you want. And if that's to suit your images, well then change it to what you want for your images. The other reason you would change it is the position of the slider. So you can see here on the test blog I have the slider above the posts um, which allows the sidebar to come all the way up. And in your design page, this is basically this section right here. So that's where the slider is. Um, if I wanted to add it spanning across the whole blog, I would place it in this position. And then I would change the width to the width of the blog. So we're going to leave it here. And basically all you're doing is changing width and height. And then your images will have to suit that weight and height. The same as all the current images in the slider in the demo are 500 pixels by 250. Okay, so that's that explained and how you simply change the weight. So the other part um, that could be a little bit tricky, once again here we're showing you how to add the scripts in the jQuery, which is straightforward. So the other part that you can get cut on is adding your actual slides, your content. And what I've done in the post is I've given you the exact code that makes up the slider on the demo blog, including the links, images, and everything. Okay, so on that slider, we have five slides, and that means five images, five links, and also five links in what's called pager. And the pager is this guy here that people can use to navigate through the links or through the images. So if you want you want to add your content, you're copying all of this, you're adding it into a HTML JavaScript gadget as I show you how to in the post, and then you're changing in red the links which I all just have as spice up your blog with the link where you want each image to link to when clicked, and in green you're changing my images with your images. So that's quite straightforward, and you can add five slides by simply changing this and changing this to your content. And um, what I did want to show you really quickly was how to add a six, a sixth slide or a seventh slide. It's basically how to add more slides to it. And I do explain this in the post, but uh, visually it'll probably help you a little bit more. So all you really have to do is when you want to add another slide, is basically add another link and image, which is one of these. So basically add this once again with a new link and a new image and that's quite straightforward but we also need to add an extra number to the pager and in light blue here you can see these are the numbers in the pagers and you will need to add another one of them so let's go back and edit the actual content we have in our slider so the quickest way to do this, you can see all the content that makes up that slider, and the quickest way to do this would be to find the very last slide, which is this one here, and you'll probably have your content in, content in at this stage, your link and image. Simply copy that, come down, add it in again, and then add a new link and a new image. It's that simple. 
But once you do that, then you have to add another number onto the pager. Because there's going to be another slide, so you're going to need another number. So all we do to do that is copy the latest, the last number in the pager, come across, paste it in again, and change number five to number six on both occasions. Then you have your new image and link in. You have your new number in your pager. You can save your gadget. And now you have six slides instead of five. And looking at the way the pager works, I reckon you could fit about eight slides in there. Um, definitely seven, maybe eight slides across. So that's our simple but very useful and very dynamic jQuery featured post slider. If you have any questions, you can, of course, drop a comment. Thanks for watching.